How does our local retailer beat Singapore retailers or Hong Kong retailers? How? Actually, by right, you know as retailers, in the international brands, you cannot have all brands in the world are the same price. The Cartier in London is supposed to be the same price as the Cartier in KL and Singapore or Hong Kong, correct? You are supposed to have a parity. But because the rental here is so cheap, the retailer here are so smart, they give a discount, right? They get a margin. So quietly, they give a discount. So I can guarantee you, actually, that the retailer here are so smart and have made KL the watch center of the world. The Chinese come here to buy, the Russians, the Singaporeans come here to buy today because our retailers here can give a discount, whereas the London retailer of Cartier or Piaget or Omega, they cannot give a discount. In this KL, the retailers, because they got such a high margin, the rent is so low, they can give a discount. So I think this is how we help retailers and understand this retailing game. We are slow in catching up, but when we do, we learn the tricks of the trade and we tell the retailers, we cannot officially back you on all your thing. You want to take it off, the margin is up to you, but I cannot officially sanction you. This is your thing with all the big brands. But the big brands also know that's how Hong Kong thrives. That's how Singapore thrives anyway. And Malaysia is on its way to be a global retail center. And the big brands that are coming here are awesome. Because today, you know, Joyce is very jealous. I got H&M to come to Lot 10. She's trying to give H&M free to come to Pavilion, but they don't even want. But no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but my point is, uh, I, I like to engage the retailer because they respect me for my history. Uh, why do they respect me? If you look at the picture here, I am a partner with Bernard Arno uh, in a fund, one billion US fund called El Capital. What does El Capital do? You see, from retailing, Bernard Arno is a tenant of mine. Right? He's Louis Vuitton, Fendi, uh, uh, his other brands. Most of his brands are here. So, what do I do with a guy like Bernard Arno, the most successful? retailer on this uh, with his Louis Vuitton brand. Don't put it to waste. So uh, Bernard Arno and I co-chair a fund called El Capital. So what do we do with this El Capital, with this 1 billion US? We set this fund in 2008 and we invest in brands in Asia that Bernard Arno could help propagate and multiply for his footprint with LUMH marketing strength. And this is what happened. El Capital have invested in Charles and Keith. Some of you are shoe people here. Charles and Keith is a Singaporean company, and they've done very well. We've taken over Charles and Keith, and now multiplied 70 shops in, uh, in the China. And one day they're going to float. I think maybe next year or something, they're going to float with a tremendous, tremendous amount of money they're going to raise to be able to grow to be a global brand like Jimmy Choo. So this is a little thing that we do. We invest in Charles and Keith. We invested in a store called Sincere, Sincere store. Went up and down, Sincere, as you know. Went up and down in history uh, with the uh, Tay family. And we bought that. And then the, we put it into Star Hill. And now it's the biggest, one of the most beautiful stores in the world is in Star Hill. So that's where we can help them, all right, and grow this uh, franchise. So this is one way we extend for our local franchises. So if you are Vinci or Bonia, come and see me, you know. If you are a brand that really can expand in Asia, we would like to know, El Capital, uh, you have to be brutally good, of course. You have to be very good. One thing I don't apologize is to bring the foreign retailers to come and compete with you. I don't apologize to that because I know you can compete against them. I know you can. Because Malaysians are so competitive. We are living in this country that's so competitive. The per capita income is quite low. To, to fight for the retailing pocket is a very tough thing. But because of that, because of this furnace of hardship, I think the retailers in Malaysia are the fastest to grow if they get the formula right. If they grow with the right company, the L Capital can invest. So this one 
one lesson for you tonight. L Capital is willing to invest with any of your ideas that you think you want to expand in Asia, in China, that you can grow. We are willing to listen. So we have also invested in Indian companies. We have invested in Oshali, 400 stores, a Chinese company that we're going to make it global. This is one great idea, right? To extend the retail of everybody, Malaysian retailer, Vinci, anybody. Why Charles and Keith? Why not Vinci? Why not Bonia? I, it's open. Some of you here, L Capital, love to listen. Come and email me uh, your ideas. I'll pass it to them. And if you are good enough to, to compete with the best, you will thrive under the wing of L Capital. That's one uh, good stuff. The second part, this picture is by relationship with uh, Pino. Pino is, owns the Gucci group, correct? He owns the Gucci and the, uh, 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 what do you call that? So many other brands, uh, Sergio Rossi and uh, Missoniam. So he's already a partner of sorts with me. And then Nicholas Hayek owns 18 brands. Uh, he's the most successful Swatch group. He owns Blampang, Brage, Omega. So within these three guys, I've got all the brands that can fill a mall already. Correct? Right? So that is the business of a retail that God gave from a guy that didn't know what to do. When God gave you an idea and context, that's how you just continue to multiply beyond my wildest expectation. You look at this hotel. This is a hotel called the Swatch Art Peace Hotel. This is my partnership with the Nicholas Hayek, the Swatch Group. Right? So we do the Shook, Shook brand in Malaysia. It's now the best by TripAdvisor, the best restaurant in Shanghai is Shuk. Can you imagine? Within less than six months, Shuk made it to be the best restaurant in Shanghai. So if Shuk can make it, why can't Secret Recipe make it? Why can't any of you make it? Right? But of course, you have to have partners with great people like that. So with great frontage like the bun in Shanghai, what a great advertisement for our capability for Malaysia. So we run the hotel and we run the restaurant. So it's not a pipe dream. Daydreamers can make dreams come true. You have the right partners in retail. If you've been through the tough, tough business of retail, you can think like me. If you have the, as long as you have the passion like me, right, you could do this simple stuff like what I did. Right? So these are some stuff that I want you to think about. Within the L Capital, within where we are starting 1999, how much the great guys like Pino, Arno, Nicholas Hyatt respect Malaysian retailers like us, being our partners because they find it fascinating that Malaysians are so gung-ho, so pushy, so entrepreneurial, so always pushing them for ideas and making them uh, push retail to a new level. So this is uh, my experience. And then we talk about, um, what else have we got? Uh, Hutong brand. So this is uh, something, uh, Hutong is a very interesting brand because it serves uh, 1.5 million to 2 million customers at about 10 ringgit ballpark, right? which many of you are serving in your, in your chain stores. Right? So can this product, Hutong, be globalized? Right, YTL, our turnover is 20 billion. Now. So all this franchise you is always in Hutong. Right? You see me very often there. Why is it that I'm spending so much time in Hutong with this, with, with this brand? Because to me, this is a very powerful brand that represents Malaysia. Right? If I can get this right and put and expand this brand in Kongzhou, which I'm going to do by December, and serve this Hokkien Mee by Kam Ling Ke and the beef noodles by Song Ke, you know, all of you know what I'm talking about, which are in Lot 10 then I can have a hundred of these uh, stalls, hundred of these hutongs. But it's not about the business of hutong. Hutong or the fish village, where Shuk, we have expanded to Shanghai, is about a footfall. You retailer understand footfall. You will always go to a mall to rent where there's a footfall, right? You won't go to open a shop where there's nobody walking about. It's about quality footfall. These two products are important products to create quality footfall. Asians per capita income today may not be able to buy all new 
branded products. Malaysians today can only afford to buy at sales. Every time sales they go to buy, I, I notice easy done sales they buy, or now the sales in Lot 10 Star Hill, the sales are very good. Only at sales they buy. But the Hong Kong people buy a lot, even without sales. So the per capita income of Asian malls today may not bring quality footfall for spending on branded goods. But definitely for food, Asians, this is a catharsis. Asians never sting on food. If you have quality food, Asians will never sting. The Star Hill product is a fish village. The cover is about 100 to 120 ringgit per cover. That's a lot per capita for a Malaysian. But why is it doing well? Because it's a catharsis. Asians like you and I work very, very hard. And the only outlet we have is to eat, is to bring your parents to eat and drink some wine or some beer. It's the hard work and the reward that we have. 